Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 16 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are just going to get right into it. we got a lot to do today. Actually, you know what? We're right next to the Panda Sanctuary. Let's go say hi to John real quick. What's up, John? How you doing? Is this John? John? Where you at? Nope. John? Is this you? John? Are you here? Where's John? Which one of y'all is John? I found you. Hold on. Let's break this real quick. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. Let's go. Nice. By the way, guys, if you want to catch a live stream, it is uh, twitch.tv slash waxfraud, so feel free to come by anytime. And sorry about my voice, it is a little bit raspy. I'm, I'm not, like, sick. I'm probably coming down with a cold, though, because my voice is just not 100% normal. It's a little hoarse, um, you know? It's just, uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Regardless, though, I am trying to get recording, because, uh, I mean, I waited a couple days for my voice to get back to normal, and it's just not getting back to normal. What's up, Parrot? How are you doing? It's been a while since I've seen you. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just couldn't wait to get recording, so, um, I mean, my voice is at, like, 80% right now, but I figured, you know what, it is time to just go right in, and, uh, let's start recording. And, uh, get back into the swing of things, because, oh my god, this guy is taking a beating. Let's get some iron and fix him up. I was out on a trip with, uh, some friends of mine, and, uh, I took a little bit of time off, and it's just really good to be back in this village, man. Where's my guy at? There you go. Don't get beat up anymore, man. You just, you, you protect the village. Came back, though, I did a stream. There was one thing that I noticed. Yep, yeah, it's this guy. I don't know how this guy right here ended up on the roof. I know we've been having a bee issue. Like, we got this bee right here. Maybe I can get this guy. Actually, you know what? This bee's pretty easy to push out. Let's get you over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope, never mind. But this guy right here, what's... I mean, like, what are you doing? Let's just push you off. I'm gonna keep going this way. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Goodbye. You know what? Dig a job, dude. What what, you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Anything. Just be anything. While we're down here, I did want to go to the goal board. So let's actually take a look over this way. Hoppity doo and skippity bop over on here. And I believe there's a... Yeah, we finished Rainbow Mountain. Not there yet. We... Oh, what's up, dude? We have... Uh, yeah, we're definitely not there. We're not even close. That's going to be taking a couple more months at least. Archery range and brewing potion tower. You know, uh, you know, either of these could be done. We could combine the two as well. That might be kind of cool. I am not sure what just happened there. That was absolutely insane. I almost just died. What just happened there? That was what? Oh my god. I am quickly running back over here to grab a totem because that, that was just insane. I don't know. I just died to kinetic energy and whoa, dude. That was... Whoa, not... Uh, yeah, let's be careful. Popping totems this early in the episode is not the way to go. Let's uh, let's be a little bit more safe. I'm trying to scout out a little bit of a new place to build. I kind of want to go over here. There's two things that we did while, uh, you know, like in between the episodes. We have this nice little diagonal bridge. I wanted to start a nice little cozy area over here to encourage myself to build over here. This used to be a nice big, like, kind of a weird jagged hill. Now it's more flat area. I used a lot of the moss to take that out pretty quickly. But this bridge, uh, it's nice and cozy. A lot of spruce, a little bit of stone, a lot of campfire as well. But, man, I got to be careful with these rockets. I should just keep them in, not even in the hotbar. But, yeah, it's right in between the creeper farm and the iron farm that you can go into. And now I got a little bit of an access to the, uh, the other side. You can also jump over here. There is another thing that I did in a long play while I was gone. I have a conduit over here. Oh, I have always forget. Oh, they're so nice. What's up? This is... Yeah, this always looks so good. Anyways, you go down here. I made a ravine coral reef. I hope you guys liked that long play. It's pretty cozy. I always love making these because you can just... I don't know. You just glide right through. It's just a little jungle that's underwater. And with the conduit, you can just be under here forever because you don't have to breathe. I have this going all the way to the other side over here, I believe, if I start going up through here. Yep, and this is the end, and it just pops me out right over to the rail system. I'm gonna have to make a couple more mini bridges right here, but that bridge was super fun to make. It only took me about an hour and a half to build, and that's why I did it on camera, but yeah, these little mini bridges, I might end up just doing that on stream, because they're just, I don't know, they're gonna take about 15-20 minutes each. Since we are going to be building in a new place, I kind of was maybe thinking we start uh, building with some new materials as well. We have Elytra now. We have a lot of rockets. We can go pretty far. I wonder, you know what, let's kind of maybe go to the Mesa or at least somewhere else. Yeah, let's go to the Mesa. I'm trying to get some new blocks here. There's a lot of terracotta that we have not mined yet. And uh, if we bring it back, we might be able to make something cool. Oh my god, Rainbow Mountain, man. This is, it is nuts. It is nuts. We have it going all the way around now, because we did a long play of Rainbow Mountain as well, where I went all the way around 
couple different times, and uh, now the bottom layer is over here. This little orange layer right here, that is the least tall layer that we have going on. And man, this has been taking way longer than it should, but it, oh my god, wait, I forgot about this light blue down here too. This light blue, that's the, that's the smallest layer. Oh my god, just lying here right on camera. I cannot wait for Rainbow Mountain to be finished. I love just gliding past it, because when it's done, just like all of the cliffs, everything just oh, just all comes together and feels great. Especially when this side's done too, and the Rainbow Canyon is finished. Man, that's going to be something else. So we have the Mesa right here, and there's some Mesa Towers. Not bad. I wonder... I, I don't know. I kind of don't want to take this out right here. These are kind of nice, and uh, we could use these as a structure later on, but... I wonder, there's got to be a mesa somewhere else beyond the desert. One thing you guys might have noticed on stream is that I spent a while kind of just eviscerating the other coral reef so that I could bring it all back home. And it's kind of nice seeing another one over here that we can eviscerate. I love the way that these look, but I also really love bringing the coral reefs back home. These blocks, I mean, you can't just grow these little blocks on trees, unfortunately. I mean, you can grow these and these and these, but you cannot grow the blocks. So it's always nice taking them home. Ooh, okay. We're seeing a little bit of the terracotta. Okay, with big mesa, big mesa, and maybe some badlands up here too. I kind of like setting up a house in the badlands. It, it always looks kind of cool. Oh, these are big mountains. This is actually where Rainbow Mountain originated. The first Rainbow Mountain I ever did was in the mesa. It looked kind of like this. Uh, we can't wait to go in. Alright, so we're gonna probably take a little bit of this yellow, a little bit of this orange, get the regular, actually, wait, hold on, what do we got? Let's take this, this, ooh, I might need to bring a uh, beacon out here, and speaking of beacons, dude, I have a lot, I have a lot of wither skeleton skulls. We could just get another beacon right now if we wanted to. Um, you know what? Maybe let's do it. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Come back into the house, and you know what, let's take, the, we, these don't need to be decoration anymore, let's take them down, let's get another beacon, we have, <laughs> we have so many skulls in here, we have one, two, three, four, I think we have five, six, we have enough to get two more beacons also, let's just, let's take it easy, one at a time, grabbing all the eggs possible, shut the door, and, oh yeah, to, look at this guy, I have a frog over here that is, uh, he's being held captive, because I don't, all the frogs, they all escaped, don't know where any of them went. They're all gone. But uh, this guy right here. Found him wandering around. Found a couple others wandering around too. They're all tied up for the time being. I'm going to keep finding them. And hopefully the rest of them can be found as well. Because there's like 50 unaccounted frogs. All the baby chickens. They can go in here. Come on bud. Get down. Get everybody in there now. Alright. Remember your training. Let's do this. Remember your training. Remember your training. All right, let's go. Come on now. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, whoa got a little bit too close to that one Almost happened again, dude. That's how I died on the last series. I need to be Careful. I need to be extra careful, man. I just wow. I can't believe that And it's time for the sword. Let's go here 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 here, here, and here, and here, and here, and whoa. I am withering away. Let's eat a little bit of a carrot. The nether star. All right, let's grab that. Let's all, all right, we're good. Let's put a little bit of some torches down. Wow, when the wither hits you with some wither, what is, oh, it's wither too. Yeah, it lasts for a while. That was like 30 seconds. The other ones were not lasting that long, but this one did. Got some wither roses. Okay, we should be good. Let's go back. We got another beacon. And up we go. Make ourselves a nice little beacon. I love this. This might be like my favorite crafting recipe. I don't know. Got the iron and of course it's raining. So let's uh, let's go ahead and let's go to a place where it's not raining. Ooh, a nice little savannah village over here. Might have to take some. Oh wait, I think I did already take some of their stuff. Yeah, we're gonna, you know what? Also this right here. This is a little bit of an area that I thought I was going to preserve, but after discovering a giant mesa biome with a couple more mesa towers, I think I'm just going to set up a beacon right here, and we might have to just take this down. Let's go right about here and plant our little booties. Looking nice and shiny. Might look a little bit better with, uh, let's put that right there. Ooh, a little bit of a light blue tint. That's nice. Let's go up here. Let's start uh, with the tallest one. Let's, let's take it all out. I did not fly as tall as I wanted to, but let's go up here, start uh, ripping it up from the top. 
Ah, man, haste too. It's so satisfying to use. Extremely satisfying. I'm gonna have to bring a couple shulker boxes back with me. Well, we did it. The entire column over here is gone. Uh, the only thing that we did was, uh, I mean, we accidentally sacrificed one of our pickaxes. This one right here, we still have it, but our silk tucked pickaxe, that thing is gone. Forgot about the durability while I was taking this thing out live on stream, and what do you know it? It's gone. That's, uh, that's the first time. I think we have enough supplies back at home to possibly make an ingot, otherwise we'll have to go search for some more netherite, but... Oh man, yeah, ancient debris hunting is not the most fun thing to do. We'll see if we have anything else back home. Take you off there, we'll go netherite scrap. Okay, we have pretty much everything we need. Let's actually smelt this real quick. We need four netherite scrap, we're gonna need four ingots of gold. One, two, three, four. And while that's burning, we actually have over here... Okay, so we'll put these two together. We have efficiency five, unbreaking three, and fortune. We'll go ahead and put a mending book on here. Bam, that's all good. Run back down. This stuff should be smelted. There we go. Let's see what we can do over here. We got a netherite ingot. Okay, let's put it in the smithing table. Bing, bop, and boom. Okay, we got that fixed. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't named these yet. Let's go over here. We got the silk touch guy. Oh, no, it was the fortune one that we broke, not the silk touch. I misspoke earlier. Let's just, let's name this guy Selkie. And the fortune guy, let's just name him Bartoon. The names are what they are, and you're gonna like it. Let's actually do a little bit of uh, mending here. This, uh, the Selkie over here. This is not, uh, it's, it's almost done. It's not holding up too well. Let's pop over here, sell some melons, sell some pumpkins. These guys actually buy them for pretty cheap, which is pretty nice. Let's grab some of these here. Go right in the middle. Wait, hold on. Bam, there we go. And start, oh, I forgot to put this up. There we go. Trading is definitely the easiest, probably most fast way to get your stuff mended if you don't have like a gold farm or an enderman farm, which is what we're about to do pretty soon in this series. I don't have any farms in the nether or any farms in the end dimension, so that, that's going to be coming, don't you wait. You know, before we go back, might as well, while we're naming the tools, let's name this guy Axe Fraud. I feel like that's kind of an appropriate name for the axe. Flying back to pick up the shulker boxes. We d we collected an immense amount of materials. Like, we didn't even need to take these out because we had a bunch of white, gray, brown, red, orange, and yellow terracotta. I mean, look at all of this. It is non-stop. Bing and boom, and yeah, this is this is quite a bit of stuff, so let's just take it all back home. We can probably smelt some of this, maybe not all of it, because, I mean, all these different colors can be used for quite a bit of stuff. We can leave this beacon here, because we have a lot of them now, because we've, I think, what is it, like four withers that we've killed? We can get two more, but we'll save those for a little bit later in the series. Rainbow Mountain is looking delicious on the way home, I do tell you that. But as we're coming back home, I do kind of want to get back to the deep slate roots. I'd like to kind of on the other side of this bridge right over here on this little island that we haven't worked on yet. I guess, it's, uh, is it an island? I guess it's technically an island. Whatever backs up into Rainbow Mountain over here in the distance, I'd like to just put a brewing tower right here. I feel like it's a nice open area. We can put some more dirt back here to make it a little bit more flat, but for the most part, as we get up here, I feel like there's definitely enough room. So I'm going to go back. We're going to grab some deep slate. Let's, you know what? Let's use this bridge. I built it. Let's start using it. I'm going to go grab some deep slate. We'll bring it back. Probably get some glazed terracotta and a mixture of regular terracotta for the decoration as well. All right. Well, this is, this is definitely starting to become too many. Let's grab at least like a stack of each of the colors here. We have yellow terracotta somewhere. There we go. Uh, we can probably throw this in at least like a stack of each of these if we can start. Oop, not that. I guess that's where that orange is going. But yeah, if we can get at least a stack of the glazed each, that'll give me a little bit of uh, materials to play with. And uh, I don't know, then we can start to work around what the decorations are going to look like. But it is going to be deep slate for the most part, so might as well go upstairs. Probably fill up an entire shulker with the deep slate tiles. I am learning right now that you can't glaze regular terracotta. I guess it doesn't work in the furnace. Does it, Wait, does it work in the blast furnace? Let's double check. And it looks like it does not. That's strange. I guess terracotta is... I mean, if you don't like the color, then it's kind of a useless block. But if... Well, I guess we'll have to find somewhere to put it because we have a lot of the regular terracotta. This is probably, for the most part, going to be a pretty, like, square design. It's just going to be a pretty, like, basic tower. I might end up actually taking down the, yeah i think actually if we take this out it'll probably just give us more room in general instead of having to add more dirt blocks we can just take this away and not really have to worry about anything because over here is definitely quite a bit of room go ahead and start our big square though i think this is probably going to be around like maybe 20 21 blocks 
wide. Um, we'll have to double check, but yeah, we'll just go block by block. It's gonna be, it might be it look a little bit circular when it's done, but it'll be more tall than wide for sure. This is gonna be just one, kind of one basic tower. I love going into a build with just zero plan. There's a lot of people that ask, like, if I plan out my builds in creative or anything like that, and I'll, I'll say it again, I just do not ever do that. I don't really feel like I just don't have time. I, I, I honestly derive a lot of joy out of just building something just out of nowhere also. Just something that comes straight from the mind and uh, doesn't really take any planning. Sometimes that's a lot more fun. But it is also sometimes fun to look at, like, a picture or something for inspiration as well. But sometimes, you know, just... Going off the noggin and see what, seeing what you can do, that's, uh, it's pretty rewarding, you know? I feel like it's, uh, yeah, it's just pretty rewarding. Well, I did say it was gonna turn out to be a little circular. It's, it's not too bad, I'd say. Let's actually get over here in the sun in the background. Not looking too bad. It's starting to look a lot more like castle-like, but it's just one singular tower. As you can see, on the sides, I decided to go with the typical, you know, just the wall to chain defense to lantern action over here with some flower pots that'll go up right here. I honestly think this is gonna look really nice, but we'll probably continue this on every side. Bam, bam. We got that, we got that, and we got the lanterns here too. We did have a floor here that we excavated, and we I know we have a lot of this like glazed terracotta that we ended up smelting, and it's, it's pretty fun. You can actually go around here, make some pretty sweet designs uh, with the red here. If we had enough red, I'd use red for the entire floor because it looks pretty cool, but there's also stuff you can do like with the yellow right here if you wanted to go in like this, you go bam. Patterns, like circular patterns like this too, so if you wanted to do this on pretty much every side, you can. I like the orange glazed terracotta because when you put it in circles like this, it starts to look like little orange slices. Kind of same like how the uh, the yellow starts to look like beehive flowers, but this isn't. It's, it's pig, you're in the you're in the wrong spot. Get out of here. This light gray is pretty cool too. If you start to just put it in one direction, it's it's kind of nice. I like these. The brown glazed terracotta is kind of strange though. Let's put this here. Bam, bam. Ooh, wait, bam and bam. We kind of get some star motions. Wait, that's wrong. And there we go. Nice. I'll put that in the corners. Next thing we got to do now that we have a floor that we can actually get the villagers on is get some villagers over there. We need to get some villagers that are not clerics yet. We have one cleric in the nether. We have another cleric that's over here somewhere. I'm not sure where he is, but we need to start moving these guys because we have this guy right here. And I mean, oh, wandering trader. Okay. Pink tulip. Got some good stuff here. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna buy the stuff from him because it's always fun. Use this guy for a quick shovel mend real quick. Hey, get over here. Let's see what you got. Give me the pink tulips. I'll take the fire coral blocks. Take the horn coral blocks. Don't need the pumpkin seeds, but we got them. Take the brown dye. And I'll take the gunpowder too. Sir, now that you have uh, you do you've done your job, I'm gonna thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 Ow! You spit on me. You spit on me. Get him with the pickaxe. Get him. Get him. No one's helping me get him. I had to do it myself. This guy's just stuck behind the shulker boxes. Dude, I, I'm, I could help you get at it. Nope, he just, he's stuck. He prefers to pretend there's an issue. Got my mangrove boat and it's time to find a villager that doesn't want his job. Hey you, do you want a job? You don't, you, get over here. How about you? Nope, let's push you into the boat. There we go. Let's just take you away and uh, let's turn you into a little bit of a cleric. Oh, man, it's like 150 blocks diagonally through all of this stuff. And oh man, it's going to take a little bit of time to get all these guys over. I'm trying to get at least 10 clerics over there if we can. So yeah, this is for sure going to take some time. I think for right now, we'll drop in the water and we'll just pull up right here. We're going to pull up. <laughs> this is going to be the shore. Put a bunch of villagers right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stack all you guys up. You're going to hang out. It's going to be chill. I think I might have found a use for these ochre frog lights because, uh, I mean, last episode we used a lot of the verdant and a lot of the pearlescent frog lights. If we come up here now through the window, I bet we can get a nice luminous looking window. Actually, let's take that down one. Come back down here. Bam, bam, bam. Bam and bam, and I think we take that one out. If we pop back through here, eh, that's not bad at all. I've been putting a lot of potted plants with just the azalea bushes right here, but uh, I figured a little bit of variation could come. Uh, a little bit of good from these plants over here. So you get the potted plants into the dead bushes right here. A little bit of a flowering azalea cubed bush right here. I don't know, it brings out a little bit more depth with the, uh, the green on the side. Started using... Oh my god, can't believe I fell. Started using some campfires. I'm going to use some gates over here as well for just a little bit of more block variation. 
We'll do this again. We're gonna go campfire, campfire. Oh, beautiful. Let's, oh God, let's go this way once. Where's the campfire at? We'll go campfire and then we go down. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, and bang. Bing, bing, and bing. Then we got a bop, bop, and bop. And I got some, I got some, ah, I got some materials I gotta pick up. Got a lot of this decorated for the most part on the tippy top. We made it look like little mini castles on all four sides. We'll finish putting these up over here. We got a lot of plain azalea bushes. I actually need to finish this as well. We'll put an upside down stair here. And uh, this is just to make the top look a little bit more like a castle. We'll put this over here and that's not that bad. It kind of makes it look like all the other sides, except we'll go here and we'll go bam, bam. That way it wraps over. And we also have this to put right here because this is going to match the four castles. If I take a rocket, we'll go boop and we'll fly right up. And this is what it looks like. We got this right up top. There shouldn't be anything spawning up here because we used a bunch of slabs right here and it's at the slab height. And all of this is decorated back to our deep slate roots. This has gone basically just the above and beyond with all of the classic uh, materials that we always use and the way that we always use them. We have the chain to fence to wall and to gates and it's just, it's all over the place. We can look down here and bam, we got a nice looking little floor. It's, uh, it's all right. It's doing okay. We can go down here. I used a lot of the glaze. We have orange, red, white, light gray right here. We have yellow and then brown. I'm going up with the ochre lights over here. I actually did not finish that yet. We can go up, get a nice view of what we got going on with all these patterns. The glazed terracotta just it really brings out almost like any build that you do. It's, it's, it's kind of nuts. And you might notice there is a spiral staircase right here. I started building that up so that we could have a second level that kind of reaches up here. But uh, I didn't want to do that until I kind of did this first. And whoa, I need to be careful. Stuff could have definitely been spawning here. That's, uh, that's kind of nuts. I'm going to plug this up real quick. We'll just go bam, bam. And then oh, can I get this if I fall? Oh, I missed. I should just get a stone cutter and bring it over with me because I have been, been flying back here for just about everything right now. I just literally come back here for, I think about like 13, I think maybe 14 stairs. And uh, we're about to just do this right here. You know what? Let's just do that with the rest of them. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know why. I'm just been, I've been making a lot of trips back and forth, but it is pretty fun. Ooh, wait, we can get a good view of this. Look at that. What a beaut. Got a nice little castle in the distance. I started getting like a little moat of a dirt path around it. I'll probably have to build up the dirt path over on this side a little bit because it's uh obviously we can't just use this well so we'll probably go over right about here and have a little bit of a dirt wall and look at these guys there's like nine of them here we're gonna probably build a barrier around them so that their only path is to get on right here let's go on up though we need to continue this staircase until it gets to the level of right there now we can connect everything, make ourselves a nice new little floor over here. This is going to be nice. Got to do some light work on the pathways with the spruce. A little bit of oak here and there. Never hurt nobody if I can place it right. What we've done over here is made a pretty big pathway for these guys. All you hear is the hunts. I'm going to hop down. Let's just uh, get this guy out of his boat. This guy out of his boat. Let's just go this way. Let's just see how far we can go this way. I don't want these guys to be able to even go th under, so let's just try to block them right here too we got one boat we got two boat three boat four boat and five boat let's start pushing a couple of these guys out to the land nice not bad uh maybe if we get the bed over here they might want to start moving up here just open the door come on guys all you got to do yep yeah there you go oh maybe he wants to oh wait we got our first guy no way we got our first cleric okay let's is it happening it's happening it happened! Let's go! It, okay, it's working. It's working. We got a fisherman that doesn't want to be a fisherman. He wants to be a cleric. Get in here. Let's start blocking these guys out like this real quick. Then uh, they're not going to be able to get out pretty much anywhere. Let's just put you guys this way. I'm just going to keep pushing them until they all become clerics. All right, well, we got a lot of them pretty much locked up in here. Let's see, what can we trade? We can trade a little bit here. Okay, you're for sure a cleric now forever. You're for sure a cleric now forever. What do you got? You're for sure a cleric now forever. Got another guy over here. You are for sure a cleric now for- Let's go, dude. Let's go. I kind of like that they have a lot of space to roam around, too. I, I, this is actually a lot of fun. But the one thing that I'm thinking is maybe giving them, like, a couple stalls to roll through. I know. We'll have to, we'll have to think about this. I'll, I'll definitely get some more villagers in here as time goes on. I love this staircase. I actually replaced it with the- or The middle column was replaced with some shroom lights so that it has some light 
all the way up. These guys do not have a way of getting up here, because uh, otherwise they would fall. So I'm actually just going to go bam. That way nothing can actually come up. We could... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, let's just do that. Actually, yeah, let's, this is going to be the best way for nothing to come up. But this is... Okay, yep, we already have a guy up here. This is not good. I knew one of them would actually try to come up here. Okay. Well, I guess, you know what? He might be stuck, because there's no way for him to get really down unless uh, he gets hurt. Or I, I could take him down with the boat, possibly. Hold on a second. Let's try this. Wait, get in the boat, sir. Get in the boat. Nope. Yeah, get in the boat. Let's see. What happens if you are in a boat that ends up falling down like oh no let's like okay where are you going and oh he's okay he's perfect oh my god i'm always accidentally letting these guys in all right so okay then oh my god this is you sir are making you're making a mess let's get you let's get you down i'm gonna go this way and you're gonna go that way hold on we're gonna push you down and now i'm stuck hold on you're going this way no nope, sir you're going down yep get in there the interior floor is done and the exterior like is basically it's all done up here and uh i mean there's really nothing else to do i mean the, we could put some of these brewing potion stands like out on pedestals but there's really nothing i kind of don't want to mess with the the design of the floor so we might just kind of keep them spread out and evenly next to these frog lights and uh, it might just be a-okay these guys are still fishermen for some reason or and farmers too uh, they'll come around eventually but what i want to do is come outside and finish the ground we have a lot of stuff to do here we have some concrete or not concrete it's cobblestone that we can put down we also have some tuff that we can put down over here i think it's time we get some lamp posts up in here we can put this up we'll go bam one two three we'll go bam and boom and drop down with a bop Get some melons over here, probably out in the distance as well. We gotta save room over here. We're probably gonna do a nice build behind this guy, this little tower over here. Um, but yeah, we'll get some pumpkins in here as well. And actually, you know what? Yeah, we're getting a lot, lot of the hay bales. I've been getting a lot of wheat production going because I've been trying to get a lot more of these little towers going right here because if you can put a lantern on top, I don't know, it just adds a lot for decoration around town. And we just go absolutely bonkers with the bone meal. We're just going to go absolutely crazy with this. Actually, you know, we can get some trees out here too. Kind of make it seem like this land has been grown into a little bit. I mean, we got to save some room for the, the thumbnail though. Probably get a tree out here. Yeah, let's get some. We're just going to grow everywhere. I need to get some grass going. Get some flowers out here too. Planted some nice acacia trees out here to replace that giant jungle tree that was here. Ooh, some corn flowers. Oh, let's get the creeper grass out of here, man. I love it when natural corn flowers come in and oxidaisies. Getting a big variety out here. And you gotta come in with the classic four right here. So you got the sunflower, you got the rose bush, you got the lilacs, and you got the peonies. Uh, this is all, it all comes together to make a nice rainbow uh, landscape. Looks like more of them are starting to come around. Let's see. Yep, I haven't traded with you yet. Let's go. Let's see over here. I haven't traded with you yet. Oh, we got some permanent clerics. This is amazing. I decided to go with the brewing towers on, let's just leave them on the ground for now. I'll start to move some of the brewing stuff in here, but I figured, you know, at the starter house, we have all of our storage back there, so I might just keep actually brewing the potions back at home and just kind of make this our cleric trading hall instead. So that's kind of just what this turned into, and I can keep moving more and more villagers in here if I want to. The more clerics, the merrier, man. But seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thanks for your patience on episode 16. I know it took me about two weeks to get this one out. I went on a trip, and then I've been kind of sick during the entire recording of this episode, so that's why my voice has been a little raspy, and I've been doing quite a bit of rambling. It's just, man, I'm just in a brain fog right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. We stream every single day on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to join. Thank you so much to all the new patrons. I appreciate you guys. We've got 25 patrons now, so thank you guys. All the names that you see at the end of every episode. Those are everybody that is a patron there. So thank you guys for all your support there. We got 10,000 people in the Discord, which is just absolutely insane. Thank you for joining the Discord, and feel free to join the subscriber server. If you're subscribed on Twitch, that is nuts. We got a big old subscriber server community growing there. And, uh, man, stuff is nuts. Uh, hopefully by episode 17, my health will be back to normal, and uh, I'll be able to record back in uh, just, you know, just like a normal time frame. Um, but until then, you're going to see some more long plays, some more live streams, and I'm just going to try to get some good rest and, uh, you know, just come out with episode 17 and, uh, you know, just as fast as I can. But until then, just take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. All right. Happy New Year. Bye, everybody.